Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to solve this tricky exponential equation or right, uh, solution. We have x raised to the power root x. And then another way to write this is x raised to the power x, then everything raised to the power 1 over 2. Because we know that square root of a is the same thing as a raised to the power 1 over 2. And then the square root is what I have as 1 over 2. And then we can multiply the powers. We have x raised to the power root of x equals to x raised to the power x times 1 over 2, same thing as x over 2. Okay, so from here we can equate the exponents. Okay, let's equate the exponent because the basis are the same. We have x and we have x. So let's let's equate equate the exponent. Okay, that means that we have root x equals to x over 2. And then from there we can cross multiply. When we cross multiply, then we have 2 root x equals to x. And then let's square both sides. Let's square both sides. Square both sides. And then we have 2 root x square equals to x square. Okay, so now uh, to open this, we have 2 root to power 2. And then we have root x root to power 2 equals to x square. All right, so 2 root to power 2 is 4. We have 4. And then this square cancel square root. We have x equals to x square. Okay, this is a quadratic equation. So let's rearrange. We have x square minus 4x equals 0. And then when we factor out x, when we factor out then we have x into brackets, x minus 4 equals 0. Now, x times x is x square. Then x times minus 4 is minus 4x. Everything equals 0. So that means we have x equals 0, and we also have x minus 4 equals 0. x minus 4 equals 0. That means that we have x equals 0, and then by the time you move minus 4 to that side, it becomes plus 4. Now x equals to 0 or x equals to 4. Now let's check. Let's check for valid solutions. Let's check for valid solution. Checking for valid solutions. Okay, now we have x equals 0 and we have x equals to 4. Now, x equals 0 is not a valid answer, you know, because exponents like uh, 0 to the power 0 or 0 to the power root 0, obviously this is what we get to get when we substitute for x in the equation. So, 0 to the power 0 or 0 to the power root 0 are undefined. They are undefined. So that makes x equals 0 to be invalid. So now let's check for x equals to 4. We have x equals to 4. Let's see what we have. Now let's write our equation. We have x raised to the power root x equals to square root of x raised to the power x. Okay, anywhere we see x, we write 4. So we have 4 raised to the power 4, I mean root 4. Then we have 4 raised to the power 4. All right, everything is 4. Okay, square root of 4 is 2. So this becomes 4 raised to the power 2 equals 2. Now the whole of this one will give us, okay, if we have uh, something like 4 raised to the power 4, Right, so this becomes 4 raised to the power 4, 1 over 2. And then this cancel this, so it becomes 4 raised to the power 2. So obviously the whole of this is also 4 raised to the power 2. Right, 4 raised to the power 2 equals 4 raised to the power 2. It's a valid, this is a valid answer. That means that x equals to 4 is a valid answer. x equals to 4 is a valid answer. Okay, now let's let's try to do this. Let's try to do this. Let's solve 
square root of x raised to the power root x equals to x. Now let's solve this and write our answer in the comment section. All right, thanks guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please and please do subscribe. See you next time.